I never saw the job, never applied for it, never saw the advert, didn't even know who they were. And remember what I told you about this job. Mm. It was work by objectives. Mm. So I wasn't like reporting to an office mm. and do it. So mm. I had actually freedom at my mm. work. Mm. I would plan, I would say, I'll go to Angola this week. I would mm. go to Ethiopia next month. Mm. So I had freedom. Mm. One time I've never forgotten, I'm driving up, uh, I'm driving up Valley Road mm. and I get a call. Mm. And I get this call mm. and I see I know this person because mm. the number, I had the number. Mm. This was a headhunter. Mm who we had worked with in GSK, when I was still at GSK. Oh, my goodness. He has he 2008 has to exactly. 2012 there. Exactly. Mm. Actually, up to 2006. Yeah, up to 2006. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. <laughs> he calls me. Yeah. And uh, he like, Doc, how are you? Can you talk? I'm like, yeah, we can talk. I'm on my blue, I'm on speaker. Mm. And then uh, he tells me, you know, Amref is looking for a CEO. Hmm. and uh, I think it's an interesting job for you. Mm. I told him I'm not interested. Mm. Because I was having, I, I was doing what I loved. Mm. So I said, I'm mm. not interested. Mm. He said, you know, I think you should consider. I mm. said, I've not even heard about the job. Mm. At that point, I knew part of Amref. I didn't do the, exp I didn't know the, the responsibility of the organization, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I just told him, no, I'm happy where I am, mm. and I'm looking for another job, mm. and, and I don't want to do an eight to five job. Mm. I'm not doing a, I'm looking to retire, you know, I'm like, mm. Yeah. This, this time was, you're in your this is early like, um, 40s. 40, no, uh, yes, 40s. early 40s. Mm. That was uh, 2014. Mm. So I'm 44 mm. at that point. Mm. I'm like, why would I now be going to do an 8 to 5 job? Mm. So I told him no. Mm. He said, okay. Uh, then he called me again and said, why don't you do this? Just come to the office. Let's talk. This is now the office at Langata? No, now. No, the headhunter. The headhunter. He okay. had an office at Westland. Okay. Mm. said, come, mm. let's talk. Mm. So I said, okay, I'll pass by tomorrow. Mm. So I go, he mm. says, we talk, we talk. I tell him, I'm not interested. Mm. I can actually give you names. Mm. He says, okay, don't worry, just um, send me your CV. Mm. Then, you know, we'll keep talking. Mm. So I send my CV. Mm. Then after that now, I mm. get a call from a board member mm. who was based in the U.S. He mm. says, you know, I think you should think about this. Mm. Uh, we talk. Mm. He tells me, you know, this is what is going on. We're also thinking of starting a university. Mm. We need somebody with a very entrepreneurial background. Mm. So I say, okay, fine, we'll see. Mm. And then mm. it stops there. Mm. Then later they call me, they say, you know, we want you to come to Tanzania. The board has a meeting there and we'd like to interview you. And I say, well, fine, I'll come. Mm. As I come to do my work for Small Train in Tanzania, because mm. mm. I was covering the entire continent, mm. I'll come. Mm. Then they cancel. Mm. And then that's it. And I forget about it. That mm. was around November mm. of 2014. Mm. Then in February 2015, mm. they call me. Mm. I say, you know, we are sorry we cancelled this, but we are still interested. Mm. Um, the board is meeting in, is having his meeting in Kenya, mm. and we'd like you to come. Mm. And I say, I moved on, you know, like I am the day of the of the interviews. I'm not in. Mm. I was actually going to Dubai mm. for the jazz festival. Mm. <laughs> okay, and I don't have a plan. <laughs> Priorities are correct. <laughs> well, exactly. I'm like, no, I'm going. To, I have a plan. Yeah, I'm going to Dubai for the jazz festival. <laughs> And I'm not around. Uh, yeah? All right, yes. <laughs> that I'm still dating now. We are like, we are going to Dubai for Jazz Festival. Yeah. So I tell them I'm not joining. Mm. And uh, I even write them an email, say, I'm sorry I'll not be around. Mm. And I wish you, you know, the mm. best. I hope you best find mm. the best candidate. Mm. And I go to Dubai. So when I'm in Dubai, the headhunter, now they have moved the headhunter from the one in Kenya mm. to a South African headhunter. Mm. Uh, called Talent Africa. Mm. So they call me, they say, you know, the board is still interested in talking to you. Mm. I say, I'm not available. Mm. Then after that, mm. she calls me again. Mm. Says, um, the board would really like to see you on Monday. Mm. So and I talked to my girlfriend then, and mm. I'm like, now, you know, let's just change our flight mm. and go. Mm. So mm. I, we came like, we're supposed to come back on Monday. So we from, left on Sunday from, from Dubai. Dubai. Okay. Come on Monday, I come in, mm. I meet a committee of the board very early in the morning. Mm. Then they say, by the way, don't go, just hold on. Mm. And I am given a place, I hold on, I have a cup of coffee. Then they come and say, you know, the board would like to see you. Because the committee that was now as meeting is the recruiting committee. Mm. So I go meet the board, mm. and the same evening, the headhunter calls me and says, they really want you to join. That's how I joined Amref. I never saw the job, never applied for it, never saw the advert. Didn't even know who they were. So there was no JD. 
No. There was not your ad. There was no... Yeah. You have defined... You ended up having to define what you do. They had advertised, but I never saw the ad and I never applied. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but they knew what they wanted. Because they wanted mm. a medical person with an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial background. Mm. So that's how I joined. So now when I was offered the job, <coughs> I'm like, okay, let's try this. Mm. So that's how I joined 2015 June. Oh, so you gave a couple of months to Smile yes. Train. Yeah, mm. Smile Train gave a couple of months, mm. went to New York. We had our last meeting with Smile Train. Mm. And then 20, on 2nd of June 2015, mm. I joined Amref. Mm. Yeah. Wow, wow. How was your last few months at Smile Train? It was, I had to close Rapper. down my yeah. relationship with people, but yeah. I think I was really glad mm. that I'd built a team. Remember mm. the team mm. that the had lady. had a PA mm. and the Smile Train had already absorbed them now. Mm. So the doctor had already been a project director for East Africa. Mm. Now I was running, I was a VP for Africa. Mm. She was, and then the PA had become a program manager. Good. So, the conversation with in headquarters was, how do we hand over and mm. what do you think? Mm. And I said, actually, the best thing is, there's no need of going out to look mm. for talent. Mm. This team here mm. can do it. Mm. So I just handed over to my team. Mm. And therefore, it was actually very smooth. We didn't mm. have to go around mm. looking for this and that. Mm. So it just happened. That was really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. it just happened, easy transition. And the people you're saying have stayed on this stayed many years on, later. Very proud of the work mm. they're doing. Expanded mm. the mm. program and they're doing an, an amazing job. And so you now start... In June, you start AMREF. Yes. It's AMREF Health Africa, your first Kenyan, uh, first African... First Kenyan CEO. <coughs> first Kenyan first CEO. African male CEO, yeah. First Maybe. African male CEO. There, yes. there has been a female. There was African. one female, there was one African CEO before me, female, from Ethiopia. From Ethiopia. Yes. Who worked only for four years and left. How, wow. So you joined 2015. 15 June. Yes. yes. How was that experience for you? It was mind-boggling because yeah. I had actually not understood the extent of the organization mm. and I had not understood the challenges of the organization. So the board chair mm. uh, inducted me and we negotiated and I joined. Mm. And I joined on 2nd of June. Mm. And when I joined the senior leadership team meeting, so let me explain how Amref works. Well, I would love to because yeah. there is... A lot of in, in, in a lot of people's minds, you know, probably we are thinking Amref is, you know, flying doctors. Amref exactly. is there's 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 lots of limitations within which we probably think a, yes. a, 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 about Amref. So everyone it, sees it from their own lens. Yeah, yeah. Depending on which department exactly. interacted uh, with. Yeah. So let me explain yeah. Amref. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.